be on their lap. So we're going to start with flexion and extension. Um, your landmarks, so he's just going to be in neutral. There you go. Um, your landmarks, your axis of rotation, and we're going to do all active range for cervical spine. So that makes things a little bit easier for you guys. So your axis of rotation is going to be the external auditory meatus. That's your hole in your ear. Um, your stationary arm is going to be perpendicular to the floor, so you're going straight up. And then your moving arm is going to be in line with the nair, so the bottom of the nose there. Okay. So you can sit in a stool. I'm just going to squat down so I'm out of your guys' way. So your starting position is going to look something like this. Okay, and then for flexion, what you're going to do is you're going to have the patient go all the way down towards the floor, keeping their trunk um, in neutral. So if he gets to 55 degrees, normal is going to be 50, 45 to 50. Okay, do you guys see that? Okay, and then extension, it's going to be your same landmarks. And then you're just going to have them look all the way up towards the ceiling. And he gets to 39 degrees. Do that again. There we go. Keep going. Okay. So he gets to 70 degrees. Normal is going to be 70 to 80 degrees. Okay. Or 75 to 85. Yeah. The moving arm is in line with the nair, so the bottom of the nose. You guys can all see that? You want to practice those two? Okay. We'll make it work as best we can. Um, so we're going to start flexion extension, same patient position. Um, so one inclinometer is going to go on top of the head. The second inclinometer for flexion is going to go on T1. Okay. The reason why we're doing this is because we want it to be just the cervical range of motion. So when he goes through the motion, his thoracic spine might move a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the movement from the cervical, from the thoracic spine, from the subtract thoracic from cervical, just so that way we're only getting cervical range. Does that make sense? Okay. So first one, I'm going to mess up your hair. Is that okay? okay. <laughs> okay, so you're going to put one on top of the head and you're going to set it to zero. Okay? The second one you're going to put, like I said, on T1. And you're palpating on your skin to find it. Remember how to find C7? You guys learned that yesterday, right? Okay, and then this one you're also going to set to zero. Okay, and then you're going to ask the patient to go into flexion. Okay, so he gets to 50 on the one on the head, and his thoracic spine didn't move at all. Okay, so his range is 50 degrees. Now, if this one would have moved to 10, we would subtract it, so it would be 40. Okay, so that's for flexion. For extension, we're moving the thoracic spine in line with the, spinous process, or the um, spine of the scapula. Do you guys remember what level that's at? T3, T4. T3, yeah. So the reason why we're moving a little bit lower is because when they go into extension, his, if we kept it on T1, his, his head is going to hit it, especially if he's getting 80 degrees, right? Um, so again, you're going to put one on the top, you're going to zero it out, put one on T3, zero that out. Okay, go ahead. Okay, he gets 80 degrees on his head and his thoracic spine didn't move at all. So, so 80 degrees total. So again, you would subtract if he did move at his thoracic spine. Got it? Um, and the, the normal range is the same. So you guys, this is a good opportunity to compare what you get with the inclinometer with what you got with your going on. Okay, practice those. Um, your landmarks, so your axis of rotation is gonna be at the C7 spinous process. Your stationary arm is going to be in line with the thoracic spinous processes, so it should be perpendicular to the floor. And then your moving arm is going to be in line with the middle of the head. You can use the um, occipital protuberance as a reference, okay? So, again, I'm just sitting here squatting down so you guys can see. So go ahead and bring your head to the right. So he 
gets 35 degrees. Normal is 45. And then let's go the other way. Then needs a little more this way. He gets to 40 degrees. Okay. So again, normal is 45. And then for the inclinometer, same position. Can I borrow it too? Not that one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm oh, sure. Doesn't matter. So one is going to be on top of the head. Okay. Again, you're going to set it to zero. And then the other one is going to be on the T1 sinus process. So you're going to set them both to zero. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. Go ahead. So he gets to 40 degrees on that one, and his thoracic moved about five degrees. So you're still gonna subtract, so 35 total. And then, other way. This one's at about 50, and he moved five again, so 45 coming this way. Does that make sense? Um, so for inclinometer and goading, different axis, uh, the fulcrum is different? So you these ones, you just set one on top and one on T1. So goading was SC7? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. Got it? Um, it's going to be in the center of the cranial aspect of their head. Your stationary arm is going to be parallel to an imaginary line between the chromium processes. And then your moving arm is going to be um, with the tip of the nose. So, I can't see. So you're gonna ask your patient to look all the way to one side. Um, so go ahead and go to the right for me. So he gets to 65 degrees. And then go to the other side. He gets to 75 on that side. Normal is 65, 60 to 70. Okay. Um, does that make sense? Okay. Um, and then for the inclinometer, your patient is going to be supine. Um, maybe take over there. So you're gonna put it on top of their forehead. <laughs> so again, you're setting it to zero on his forehead. And then he's just gonna roll his head to the side. So go ahead to the right. And he gets 75 and then left. And he gets 80. So you can see there's a little bit of a discrepancy between the two. Um, it can be because in a supine position, his muscles are a little bit more relaxed, so he can get a little bit more range. Okay? Try those.